Hey everybody, Austin here with some more Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. So, let's continue on our challenge runs and we will go with Spider Boy. This is probably gonna give me Spider Shot, I'm assuming. You and Spider. Yep, so we start out with Quad Shot. I'm gonna go so assuming though that because we have Quad Shot that we have no more item rooms, so... Probably a good assumption, so... Got two keys. Which will help us out at least getting to item rooms we want to, or probably more finding golden chests. So the last couple of runs, or my last couple of videos have been really successful. I have one run I had to do twice, but other than that I've been doing pretty good at getting through these, some of these challenge runs, which is nice. You know, they're gonna help get me regular items, which are gonna let me to, uh, allow me to, uh, I think play normal game better. You know, eventually beat moms hard enough that I can continue on to fight uh, Isaac and Blue Baby. Alright, so we got our first boss here. We are gonna get afterwards. Oh, looks like we're also getting a slowing effect for our cheers too, which is nice. Actually, it helps on a boss like this. So things we want. Well, we want our normal stuff, so we want some tears, we want some health. Um, tier stuff would actually be really helpful here just because we don't have a very... Because we're firing four tiers at once, we don't have a very fast uh, fire rate. Uh, damage up is always good. Oh. Right, man, it took some... Doing great till the end, in which I just can't dodge, it took some damage. Let's get our keep of meat. Not enough money to go to the shop, so let's head down. If I didn't take damage, I probably would have had could have gone to the challenge room. Or not challenge room, but the curse room. So then I could get myself back up to full health right away. Oh. To dodge those guys a little. So my cellar is two, so cellar is the harder of the first floor first two floors. Alright. Again got some more bombs and keys, but not enough money. Two cents for a bomb, don't really want to spend that right now. I'll just keep moving forward. Probably look for our secret room here in a little bit. So kind of looking for some tented rocks would be nice. Got a hello card. Empress, alright, we'll save that. I believe we pop it and it's going to cause mom's foot to come down. We'll try it on her boss room. Let's see. Still getting some pretty good damage. We're almost one-shotting most of these guys. Uh, let's just finish off the floor real quick before we go fight the boss. Oh, I need to want distance when I take out these guys. Just because it will cause damage. And fish it! So I think this is a f new item I just recently got. Not sure what it does, but we will find out. And let's go fight the boss. You're fighting the Brighton Ovum. So the slowing on this is actually nice because it's going to allow us to keep our distance and then allow some of his creep to go away. Because he is kind of a fast enemy. We're doing pretty good so far. Alright. Ah, we took damage right there at the end, but doesn't matter. We got our range up. And let's see what our deal with the devil is. Guppy's paw and Guppy's head. No. I don't really feel like any of them. Just because I don't really have a lot of health right now. So we have enough health in the room. Let's go... Hmm. Not really a very obvious secret room, but let's check our curse room, because if our curse room has anything... Yep, so we know where it's at. Guppy's top. Wow. So if I would have took all three of those, I would have died, but I would have became Guppy. And let's do our secret room. Contains cash, so nine cents, which is nice. 
Unfortunately, not enough to make the shop worthwhile. Oh, one cent there. So let's just head on down to the next floor. So I'm wondering if fish heads maybe spawns uh, enemies for us. I'm not sure. Well, let's keep going. We got the health to get us back up to full health. Catacombs. The harder the two floors again. But lots of cash here, which is nice. So allow us to get one more cent. Then we'll be in a good enough position that we definitely will want to go to the item shop this floor. Um, we're still in this position where I don't believe we can get greed on our item shop. Mm, spirit heart. Unfortunately, no way to get to it. We'll see what's in our trap room. Let's do it. Sentinel bomb. Do some dodging here. Let's grab you guys. So definitely need to get some damage up. My damage is not the best right now. Oh. Scary. It's nice as though with these quad shots it's easier to deal with multiple of these guys at once. I just need to. Make sure I'm taking them out. One down, three to go. Almost got them all. Got them, good. Alright, let's do some dodging. Oh, took some damage, so it's gonna lower our chance of getting a deal with the devil or angel room. Alright, nothing else spawned. Was that worth it? Probably not because we took damage, but we do have 15 cents now, so we can go to the item room when we find it. Alright, it's gonna take us two bombs to get to that chest. Which we have five, so let's do it. One, two. And what are we gonna find? Health up! Definitely worth it. Keep searching. Uh, no way to get to that chest. We found their boss. Just dodging. Might as well fight our boss right away. Kind of hoping for Pete. Now, a boss I'm not the most strong with, just because I'm I gotta learn his patterns for his shots. Not very good at dodging his sh his his fire right now. Well, it seems like what's nice is when he slowed. Oh, alright, took some damage. When he slowed, his dam his bullets are slower too, which is nice. I'm gonna try to keep him slowed as much as possible. Make dodging his bullets a little easier. Oh. I mean, it looks like we can actually shoot Peep's eye too, and that will slow that down. Took some more damage. Let's pop our Emperor's card. Alright, so that actually puts me in the horror of Babylon. So that would have been nice to have gone into earlier. As you can see, it kind of makes us a little faster. Our tears do more damage now. Oh. We still have that slowing effect, which is nice. Oh. Took some more damage. Scary. I need to hit him. Got him good. 
Alright, because we took damage, it was less likely for us to get a deal with the devil, but we did get Pageant Boy, which gave us a lot of coins, so let's go find our item shop. More than likely, the secret room is here. Nope. Searching. Uh, greed heads. Perhaps my least favorite enemies. Especially right now, because they're in a, not a very convenient spot to get to. As you can see, when you take damage, you lose coins. One down, one to go. Got him, good. It's in our chest. Heart, okay. Let's go to our the ladder. Now we have the money, might as well. We should be able to get one more cent by the time to the next room. Next floor. And now we can go and get some of those items we couldn't get before. Right, we're fighting Envy. Uh, horrible boss. If you haven't watched the videos before, you'll find out why in a minute. But actually, with this with spider shot, it might not be so bad. It's all about keeping it simplified. If you attack them too much and get too much on the screen, it's going to make your life a living hell. You know, with this with the setup though, it's not so bad, because we can definitely slow down the shots, which makes it a lot simpler. Alright, we got shoop -de -boop. You know, it's a space bar item. Not one of my favorites, I really don't use it a lot, but, you know, it's probably still good to have. And now we can get that half, oh, we don't need it, but we can get these coins over here. So we are definitely have enough to go to the item room on the next floor. But there's a good chance, though, greed will probably be in that item room. But we'll find out. Or not, by my, and when I say item room, I mean shop. Alright, we're on the next floor. Catagomes 2 again. The game is trolling us. Oh. Alright, we took red heart damage, so that lowers our chance of getting the deal with the devil. Got a chest with a full heart. Again, I probably took that too soon. Oh, we found an arcade. Arcade might be nice. We can get some cool stuff from the arcade. Get some, uh. Maybe get a red heart. Definitely get more money. But we're doing pretty good on the money right now, so we might not want to. Alright, that would have been better to take. So let's keep exploring. That was close. Might be here. Nope. Whoa. Alright. Didn't really have any place to go. Walked into that one again. Let's keep moving. This is feels really dangerous. Somehow I have not taken damage yet, which is nice. Though I do keep finding dead ends. Oh, 
No, I actually didn't. I didn't see this room down here. And a demon beggar. Or not demon beggar, but just a beggar. Play it to 15. A key. Awesome. Hopefully it pays off before 15. It does, with the health up. Awesome. Always good to get that health up. Makes the survivability a lot better. Took some damage. Stupid of me. Also stupid of me. So it looks like dead fish, every time I take a hit, spawns an attack fly. Oh wow. I might be dead here soon. I need to play this safe. Alright, we're going back to find some health. If there's actually any on the floor. There might not be. Ooh, and I walked right into a fly. Awesome! Well, let's try that one more time. I want to keep these videos if I can, winning each video episode, so... That was stupid on my part. I was not paying attention and walked right into an attack fly, which I did not know was there. Golden key, awesome. Well, we'll at least go look in the shop now, because it won't cost us anything. Great to have, but, you know, kind of worthless on this floor when we don't have any money or an item shop to go to, which on the first floor anyway, the item shop doesn't cost any money. Four cents. Maybe buy something, maybe not. Alright. Yeah, I can't buy anything, so let's go down. Battery would have been nice, especially if we got a good spacebar item. Let's fight our boss. The Widow. Now because we're continuing right off from our last run and we didn't take... Ooh. Alright. Never mind then. I was gonna say we had a good chance of getting a deal with the angel item, but because we just took damage, it's probably not gonna happen. Alright, got a health up. Let's take one of these. Go see what's in our curse room. Spirit heart, alright. Let's just check if this is our secret room. It is, alright. Wow, alright, got some good cash there. So we definitely have enough to go to the back to the item room now. Very rare when you can buy an item on the first floor. So we definitely want to get the battery. It's gonna help us recharge those things and let's actually buy a key. That way we can at least go down on the next floor. We'll need to gather six cents so along the way, but I think we can do it. And let's go down to the next floor. Oh, let's grab the health first. Basement too, like a little bit easier. By easier, I mean we're not gonna take damage, hopefully, which we didn't. Good. All right, pill. Let's see what our pill is. Tears down. Not really good at all because it lowers the ability we have to fire tears, which is already lower due to the fact that we have the quad shot. Apparently can't hit these guys at all. One down. Right, so we found some coins, which is good. Ten cents, we just need five more. Oh man, that, I'm feeling that tears down. I need to find the tears up, hopefully. Justice, okay. We're gonna save that until hopefully we can get a deal with the angel this floor. We haven't taken any damage yet, which is good. Oh, 
Plus now we also have a spirit heart to help us out, because it's mainly just red heart damage that's looking for. Right, we found our boss room right away. Because we don't have the 15 cents, let's just go ahead and fight our boss right away. Hopefully we'll get a deal with the angel. Larry Jr. Alright. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's one of the easier bosses you can get. Though it is a champion version, I believe. Green means they have more health. Which would make sense by how my damage on my shots are doing so far. And it looks like he can shoot too. Which is not fun. Let's clear out these just in case so I can escape path. The thing about this fight you gotta be careful with is the if you don't clear out things right away, you can get yourself in the ability of getting trapped as you're ch being chased. Alright, one down. Oh. And that was close. Let's clear out some escape paths. There is a tented rock in this room. for us. We found some health in the poop, which is always good. Alright, it's almost down. Two more sections. We got him. And so we gotta deal with the devil. Uh, let's take our thing, it's gonna give us tears up, which is what we want again. And another card, Wheel of Fortune, but we wanna take justice into here. Guppy's paw and dead cat. All right, let's use our justice card. Oh, did not do what I thought it did. Maybe it just pays off differently in the devil room. So, we're two thirds of the. We could be two thirds of the way to Guppy. I think this is how we're gonna do it. We are going to take you, then use you to get down to just one heart, then use you. And I did that completely wrong. Or maybe not that it mattered. Alright, so we now have nine lives. But as you can see, we only have one heart now, so... We definitely want to get some spirit hearts. With Guppy's Paw, though, it's going to be nice, because as we ha get hearts, we can convert them to spirit hearts. But, dude, one heart turns into... Uh, three spirit hearts, as you saw. But, kind of... It's very late in the game now to try to, or not late, but early to convert all our spirit hearts right away. We want to at least get some more red hearts built up. We are also two thirds of the way to Guppy now, so if we can get another Guppy item, such as uh, Guppy's tail, Guppy's head. We will turn into Guppy, which would be awesome, because I've actually never turned to Guppy before. Right, Nun's Habit doesn't really do anything for us here. Uh, let's just go to the next floor. Save up that money. Uh, I believe there's enough health we can gamble for a little bit too. It'll take some time, but we might be gambling. The Blood Bank might be good, because we might be able to get some of our... Uh, Health back. So let's see how much we actually have. Uh, looks like we have one, two, basically three full hearts. All right. So this is gonna be really long, but we'll basically be doing. Bam. All right, then we'll go 
Let's do it like this first. Bam. Been better to do this before taking those deals with the devil items, but didn't know. Shoot all the poop. money. So we want to take the half heart. IV bag. We'll touch it. Then go back to Guppy's Paw. Actually, let's do it like this. We're gonna take the IV bag with us. You're going to grab the half heart. Use it twice. And grab you. Don't want to use it again because I don't have enough health for it. Take Guppy's Paw. Play you guys once each. Got a key. Nope. Alright. And let's head on down. Let's grab our card here. Wheel of Fortune might come in handy. Catacombs, so harder the two floors again. Ugh. This is so scary. Them all out without taking damage somehow. Definitely need to tears up again. Barely doing enough damage to these guys. Get some health. Good to know it's there. Come back for that coins later. Right, found the boss tra mob trap room. Ugh. This might be good. Not really. Okay. Now I'm just under stress because I don't want to take hits. Lose that spirit heart. The things looking for survival: spirit hearts, health ups, are key because we need to start building back up that. Look out for all those flies. Make sure I'm also taking out the fly generators. Whoa, that was close. One down. Also need to be on the lookout for Guppy's head. Damage I did not want to take. Damage I cannot afford to take. Alright. Is that worth it? Not really. I mean, we got two bombs out of it, which is not gonna be nice. Ugh. I might use one of my lives. Yep, just did. Oh, we need to go that. Wait, oh, let's see if we can find the item room. It's more than likely this way. Not stick, all right. I think that's gonna give us more bombs. Heart. Back up to full health. Okay. This fight's gonna be scary, but I think the fact that we can slow it has a huge effect because we can then keep it slowed 
Oh, died. Alright. We can do this fight. Let's try again. We just need to keep it slowed. And then keep our distance. Got it. More. Good. We got a pill. Hopefully something good. Puberty. Alright. Neutral pill. Let's blow up this tented rock. The bomb and a key. Let's hope he more for spirit bomb, spirit heart, but you know, we came out neutral from it. Come down. Alright, so we found our item shop, which is good. Our item room. Our shop. I guess item shop works there too. I want to go in that cursed room because it's very possible we might get to uh, become Guppy. It'll cost us a life, which, you know, we're still fairly early. We could get a health up from this boss. Let's do it. Now a troll bomb. Alright, so we die. Luckily we spawned outside the room, which would have been bad if we spawned in the room. See what's in here. Nope, alright. Which means it's more than likely here. Yep. Some coins, which. Do we need them right now? Not really. You know, I should have tried when I was in that other room using Guppy's, because I think I can use, if I'm down to half a heart, I can use Guppy's tail. Or Guppy's paw. Let's try it here. Oh. Okay. That's actually a good strategy. I'm glad I got tried that out, because now if I'm about to die, I can give myself three more health. So hop hollow, very close like Larry Jr., but a little bit harder. ourselves in an area where we won't get hit. Shots aren't really doing a lot of... Well, we're doing damage to them. It's just not the most convenient. Oh, nice when that head gets hit. Slowed. Really slows down the rest of the body. Oh. One section of him down. Another. One down, one to go. Oh. That was bad. doesn't do me anything, and we got Mom's heals, which is a range up. So not the best. And let's keep searching. The range will be nice, because I can now stay farther away from the enemy. Awesome. So even if I hit them out in front, I can slow them, which will make it easier to get behind them and shoot. Um. Yeah, let's just do it right away. Wretched. Oh, one more hit left. All right, died. Let's explore a little bit more. So, you know, I'm not feeling the strongest with this run anymore, just because, you know, I don't know if I was skilled enough to try this play style. 
of Dead Cat. But you know, I'm banking on that I'll find in one of these rooms I'll find the guppy's tail or another part of guppy. Or guppy's head. So I can become guppy, which I think will help out a lot and definitely improve my damage output. Right, 34 cents. So we got a lot of money now, which means we're more than likely gonna fight greed in the shop. nice and that spirit heart's even nicer Some more tears up. Boom. Got the spirit heart. Let's do it. Come on. Pill. All right. What is this pill? Pretty fly. Another pill. Telepills. I am air room. Okay. Not really hoping for that. I lose out on a boss item now. And I lose out on the shop. But don't really want holy water at all. Bought that health, which didn't really do anything for me, but let's just head down. So I think it's one of my first times getting the IM air room. Now in the propolis. Ugh. Even less of what I want to see. Ooh, it's Guppy's paw. Yeah, that's a great use of Guppy's paw there. It's gonna allow me to survive a lot better. Oh. Need those hearts out of the way. See, I don't have a lot of damage. I think I have a good range. One more to go. Boom. Headshot. So we need to find the... Man, they just want me to play those. think about it. The golden chest is good because we might get a health up out of it, but again, I want to f it's going to be really hard enemies or harder enemies. Oh. There is a tented rock here, so we definitely want to blow you up to get to that tented rock. We have the keys for, so let's open you. And Tammy's head. No, we must have been Guppy's paw. Only it could have been Guppy's head. Let's blow you up here. And you here. Wow. I am an idiot. just moved farther away to begin with. Alright. Down the one spirit heart. Have to do some expert dodging. Let's 
That's a good blow up at the bomb fly. Not liking all those grand big flies that are spawning. Gonna take them out. Ugh, dodged right into that. But a shop. Not a shop, but a uh, library. So we gotta book up a Lyle. Which might be good to go into the boss room with. We will save that here. I don't want to give up Guppy's Paw because, again, Guppy's Paw is like key to my survival. Alright, so we now know that the shop has nothing in it. Or has no boss in it because we're fighting a mini boss here. I definitely want to look for the shop next. Alright. Anarchist cookbook. Don't want that. It's a very dangerous item. Let's keep looking for our item room. Way goes down. More than likely the location of our secret room. Yep, let's see what's in here. More coins. We're about to get to close to 99 cents. This is a dangerous room. Do a lot of dodging. Found their item room. Portable slot and tarot card. So I think we're gonna do portable slot just for now because we're gonna play the hell out of you. Hopefully get some items that will allow us to survive. Maybe some spirit hearts. We're gonna end up rolling with Guppy's paw. if it will give us a spirit heart or not. Got regular hearts. Can't really use. Alright. I'm gonna stop playing you for right now because we're gonna now go back up here and we're gonna play these slot machines. Because again, we want to get to... Uh, this is dangerous. There we go. Hopefully we can get some spirit hearts that will help keep us alive. It's going to take some time. at all. Let's go spin the key. Play open you up. Alright, you need to pay out with some spirit hearts. Tail a card, two of spades. Doubles our keys. Rusty key. Temperance. Not helpful at all. All right, spirit heart one, which is good. Let's get some more.
death might be good. Another spirit heart. How well can you pay off for us? More spirit hearts is what we need. The moon that warps us. Safety cap might be good. Push pin. The Emperor. Tick. All right. Well, can't get any. Uh, can't get any other trinkets now. Tick is one of those ones that once you get it, you can't exchange it. Spirit Heart, which is good. Tan, can't use. That would have been awesome because it turns all chests to red chest, which make it more likely that we would get a guppy item. Just head, can't use. Mushroom, can't use. Chariot. I think the chariot gives us a oh, my little unicorn. I mean, good to save that and take it to the blood bank. I hope you can maybe get some plays off of it. Let's see, we might get another chariot card. Another spirit heart. Plays with some more spirit hearts. Chariot. I know we want to take the chariot. And crystal ball, which we can use the crystal ball to give us a spirit heart and show us the layout of the map room. Well, so we still have a while to go before we get to... Let's use the moon. Warps us to the secret room. We're just gonna try to clear out some of those cards. Because we have a while. Alright, that's awesome. That's so that it got readjusted. So, chariot. So, let's take the chariot. Well, no, I don't have a. Shoot. Well, I guess we'll do the chariot like this. Make it so we only take half a spirit heart damage getting in. Two pills, which were tears down. Pills I do not want at all. So only half a spirit cart damage going into there. Let's go back. Death. The Emperor. The Moon. Temperance. So this is what I think we're going to do. We're going to rock the crystal ball for right now. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, enough rooms before the boss room. I think we can get another charge and get another spirit heart. And then we'll come back and take Guppy's paw.
Because I can't use it until I get a red heart again. Took some damage, which sucked. And all those spirit hearts I'm building up are gone. That's right, we have the 9 volts, so that's going to allow us to, as we are in the room, automatically get charges on this. And another charge. Is it related to you running? Because I wonder if I could find an enemy and just... So let's, I wonder. Always going to be to dodge these guys. Not very. We did get a charge, and I didn't kill anyone, so... I think you have to be in a room with an enemy. Well, I had a nice bunch of spirit hearts, which I kind of just let demolish. So now I think I can cheese this for a while. Just keep running back and forth. Yeah, we're gonna cheese you. you. Am I gonna get a charge here soon? Do I have to be firing tears maybe? Uh, I still cheesed it a bit. I wonder if maybe there's a max number of ticks that will give you per room. Try cheesing. Yeah. Uh. No, that's not what I wanted. All right, dying. I think we're gonna pop death right away. try dealing with that but we got you let's go ahead and pop a bomb all right we got the small rock damage up I was looking for that might make or break our run it's our death card again let's go back and get Guppy's paw, because we'll need that to survive. We're so close to Guppy, we just need one more Guppy item. Moon, the Emperor, Temperance. I think we want to take the Emperor card. Not sure what it does, but. With a name like the Emperor, it sounds like it could be good. So, we'll take one hit in the boss. Once we do, we'll then pop, pop Guppy's Paw. Let's give it a shot. Alright, blow it. We gotta move right away. Alright, let's blow up this tented rock. 
Spirit Heart. Alright. Uh, Alright. Let's hop our card. Emperor. Takes us right to the boss. Alright. Oh, that was horrible. Alright. Dead cat brought us back here. This might be close to the end of our run. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get past this boss. But we'll try. It's a ch harder version of the boss I already hate so much. Let's just see what's up here real quick. Again, not very worth coming in this room at all. Hurt me coming in this room. Hurt me a lot. All right, let's go die. go in. One hit, then we'll pop it. Need to move right away. And pop it. Oh. Dodged right into it. I need to bait it to attack and then move. Nope. All right. Down to our last life. Let's see if we can do this. Got to move right away. Oh, need to use gut. Almost forgot to use Guppy Paw. Yeah, this isn't going too hot. And I died. Well, I'm gonna stop it there. Everyone, thanks for watching. My streak had to end sometime. This is a hard one. I'll have to think about it, maybe come back later. If you guys enjoy watching the videos, please like, please subscribe, leave comments. Tell me what I could have done better on this run. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, thanks, you guys, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.